Hi, Ricardo. Hi, Ravi. Nice How are you? you? Nice meeting you. Very too. good. So, Pleasure. Warren, this big event, you know, uh, very, very uh, long time waited by, by us and by our customers, and we are in front of the WB uh, panel. So, I would like to know from you what, uh, in fact, the market demand that brought the WB into our hands, into the hands of our customers. Okay, very good, uh, very good question. It's first, it's a pleasure to be here and to be able to have all uh, friends together and to meet customers, and it's a really good occasion. Uh, WB, why we launched WB in the market? Uh, the Bluetooth uh, and all the 802.15.4 with the Zigbee, uh, Open Threads, and uh, Matter now are becoming more and more important. So this market is growing a lot for user interfaces. And uh, we, uh, the, the, we developed the WB to enable customers to have a very easy transition from our uh, low power, ultra low power devices that are powering the majority of these applications to a solution that is embedding a radio transmitter and particularly Bluetooth with an open possibility to implement several protocols. So this is, uh, was the reason the market is growing by uh, double digits. So all the, the, the institutes are talking about 15, 20% growth year over year. And we believe this will be a major market and we are bringing a solution to make uh, the lives of our developers very easy to migrate and to integrate uh, the Bluetooth feature in their designs. Okay, good. So we are seeing more uh, connectivity, let's say, uh, uh, hunger from the market. Uh, we see the WB, the STM32 WB as a multi-protocol. You have mentioned Zigbee thread going towards the matter, 15.4 as a proprietary, and uh, the Bluetooth as a major, in fact, uh, protocol of this. Now, coming from ST, you are known for your, let's say, best-in-class support when it comes to the STM32 alone. Now, what are your plans, in fact, to help customers adopting the WB so that are not, let's say, known in connectivity and they want to add connectivity on top of their devices? So what, yeah, are, yeah. what are your plans for that? Uh, uh, clearly, our target is to make the life of our designers as easy as possible. And I okay. think people that are developing systems sometimes, uh, they don't have all the expertise in terms of RF so design, that, yeah. which is uh, quite, uh, quite complex. And our target is to bring this complexity inside ST and our engineers okay. will make the life of the customers uh, as easy as possible. One of the points are modules. So we are introducing together with the main uh, chipset, we are introducing modules which are pre-certified. So we take away all the complexity of the regulatory certifications, uh, FCC, CE, and also the standard certification. So. Uh, Bluetooth, Zig, uh, Zigbee, uh, and this, the modules will be pre-certified. They, be, they will be integrating the components that are needed to do the function inside the package. So our customers, instead of uh, ordering multiple devices, they have one module, and it's easier to put in the board with a very small space, so you gain also in yeah. footprint. Good. So, so a model also branded under SD. Absolutely, under okay. SD. Absolutely. So this is one thing for, let's say, newcomers to the connectivity now, for experienced customers and, uh, let's say, going into the, 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 the SOC or the, the design on from, from, uh, uh, from the, 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 the RF and the, the chipset itself. Um, what are your, in fact, uh, also add-ons to that? As I said, always with the STM32 now. I am a chipset designer and will go with the WB. So what are also your, your let's say, uh, enablement tools Clear, that yeah. are appropriate? Yeah, this uh, it will be the same service as the whole STM32 portfolio. So we are preparing with all the Cube ecosystem, okay. all the tools, uh, the, the boards, from Nucleo boards to discovery boards that allow customers to design and implement their functions. We have application nodes, we have uh, MOOCs, uh, user starter guide, uh, learning uh, how to use and design a ref. So all this is uh, the same uh, service that is delivered in the whole STM32. Okay, we'll so be, I'm, uh, I'm staying inside the STM32 ecosystem. Oh, okay, absolutely. so which will bring in fact ease of migration, absolutely. ease of adoption of the WB inside. You can reuse uh, part of your codes that you developed in uh, for the main application on these devices. So this okay. will be uh, good, very good. Good, good. Now. I am from Future Electronics, uh, 
distributor for electronic components. We are partnering with SD. What are, in fact, your expectations from partners and especially from Future Electronics to expand, in fact, the, 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 the customer basis for the WB? Yeah, I, I think the partnership between an ST Future is a long and solid partnership. I think we are working together in designs, in new products, very solidly. So it's a kind of extension of, uh, of ST and it's a family. So I think this is uh, very important uh, for us. You bring an extreme solid uh, technical know-how of the RF systems and you can help customers also to implement the solutions on their side and uh, also attract uh, and enrich our ecosystem with partners you work for boards, for modules, for examples of applications and make it easier for our very large customer base because one of the characteristics of the STM32 is that we are working with uh, more than 100,000 customers. And this we are not addressing alone, we are addressing through our distributor partners and Future is a, a, one of the key, a key, key of them. And I think here what is differentiating is the technical knowledge you are bringing to the field and enabling designs of systems that are using and very fast uh, ramp up to the market with these new solutions. Thank you. And we are proud of this uh, partnership with SE now. The last question, because I know Electronic is very crowded, your booth is also very crowded. Let's say a customer who is not adopting WB to, today, what is in fact the next steps to bring the customer to the tomorrow with the WB? Very good question. I think that the WB will not be the only, I mean, we are talking more connectivity in general and we are introducing products and we'll be seeing new products being introduced okay. consistently with the STM32 ecosystem in all the different standards, not only the, the Bluetooth, but we'll be introducing products with uh, Wi-Fi, with the cellular. So there is a large uh, investment on our area on this uh, product field. We believe connectivity is a key area and we are enriching the portfolio there. We'll be bringing uh, features that are available on the whole portfolio to the connectivity products like artificial intelligence okay. with our tools of uh, Cube AI, Nano Edge AI will be running and are running already on the WB family. Security, the products will be certified CZIP level 3 and this is uh, increasingly uh, a complex products that we'll be introducing. We have, I give you an uh, appointment for Embedded okay. World uh, next well, year. Yeah, we'll, we'll be introducing be new uh, Bluetooth products okay. uh, with, uh, again, multiple core, larger memories, and uh, let's say advanced features. And uh, we'll be talking more about this in uh, Embedded so, World next year. Rendezvous and Embedded World and Rendez wireless is getting better. Absolutely. Definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much Thank appreciated. You. Enjoy much the show. Thank you very bye -bye. much.